Hi, I am creating this recording to walk you through the structure and pricing of the long-term mentorship program by Team Vidish. So, uh, as you might be already aware, the LTM or the long-term mentorship program has become the signature program by Team Vidish. Uh, we started helping students in 2022, end of 2022. But uh, back then, the, the three of us, Dr. Raj, Dr. Rajat and myself, Dr. Sridhar, we graduated, we barely graduated at the end of 2022. So we could help a lot of students on application related things. Um, however, we realized that there is also a huge um, need for mentoring the students on how to build their profile, uh, which takes more additional effort and it has to start a bit early. So that's why we created the long-term mentorship program last year in 2023 and it has been incredibly successful in the sense that many students have worked with us on various projects they have written papers um, many students have received international research internship opportunities through the program uh, they have received admits and they are currently as i speak they are still being receiving new admits uh, as more and more results from last year is getting out so uh, in this document i just want to briefly go through all the details of the the structure and the pricing of the program this document i won't be reading every single detail because i'll be sharing this uh, like uh, i will be sharing this document with you separately but basically we have worked on so many research paper drafts um, these numbers are uh, higher than what is shown here um, there has been a lot of projects that started as part of the LTM um, and uh, conference submissions. In fact, international conferences also, uh, several of them in Canada, in uh, Australia, um, in, uh, in the US. So there were several conferences that were successfully presented in international as well as na national avenues in India. And uh, several students got into um, international research internships some of them were collaborative in like um, like an online virtual internship collaborating with a professor and many of them were actually in person uh, one student got into MIT media lab there was uh, another student who got into uh, NTU at Singapore um, another student uh, and all of this was accomplished by going through the structure of the LTM program uh, meaning building a profile then reaching out to professors etc but this is also primarily meant for fall 2025 and spring 2025 applicants. So the LTM is broadly divided into two categories. Um, first, first one is the phase one, which is about building a strong research profile. And when we say research profile, we mean tangible outcome from research in the form of papers or in the form of conferences. Uh, patents also do count, but the road to a patent is much more, uh, you know, you need much more number of resources for that. The second part of the LTM is crafting the best version of your story in the application because uh, as you might have already heard, heard from what we say, uh, the application is more like a you know storytelling or sales process. It's not like a job application or it's not, it's very different from any of that. So um, it will involve a very strong pitch in the SOP, statement of purpose, um, a very, very well crafted crisp resume exceptionally strong strong LORs, carefully selected set of universities. This is one step many students miss out uh, because you, if you don't really carefully select universities, you may get all rejects, which has happened to some of my very good friends because um, they, they did not spend too much time on shortlisting universities. They directly went with university QS rankings or US news rankings and that really uh, troubled them by the time it was time time for admits um, usually university selection will need you know you should know where you stand according to your profile by all of these things and then you should select appropriate set of uh, befitting universities for your profile GRE is not an exam that is required by many universities from now on uh, but still some programs may need it uh, you will have to write TOEFL or IELTS um, the only thing that we demand from you as a student or as somebody who is working full time or somebody who is working part time, whatever it may be your case, uh, to be able to spend 8 to 12 hours per week, which is not too much. If you average it out, it's like on an average, you know, 
one or even 1.5 hours per week per per day i'm sorry and uh, it could also be split in such a way that if you are very busy on the weekdays you could be imagining you could imagine spending that kind of a time during the weekends right um, for for dedicating to the ltm program but uh, without the time commitment uh, it's very difficult to achieve what we are planning to achieve through the ltm and when we say the success of ldm we primarily mean getting you into the best possible university now what is best possible heavily depends on your profile so there are two steps uh, improving your profile to the best extent possible and with that profile with the with a much better profile that you you will have um, trying to figure out how best to tell your story to maximize your chances of good admit and for that purpose we will have to shortlist universities as easy medium dream etc now the phase one which i talked a bit earlier which is the one half of the ltm program is all about building a strong research profile this will last almost 3 months and the pricing will be uh, in inr 60k now <clears throat> the reason why we fix this for 3 months is based on the past year's data we worked with a large number of students and uh, the sweet spot for the time duration for which uh, we we'll have we'll ha- we'll be working on a research article or a review paper will be basically 3 months so uh, these two papers can be based on the same topic or it can be based on two different topics and research paper means it's your original work it may be based on a new topic that you are investigate going to investigate or it could be based on something that you have already done in the past meaning if you have worked on a course project or some other kind of project which which resulted in some kind of good outcome uh, that we can work to convert to a research paper a review paper is more like it's not your original research but it's your original uh, summary or survey of the existing body of literature and review paper is also something that anybody should be able to work on given the right kind of you know guidance or meaning if you know what to do uh, every one of you should be able to write a review paper and <clears throat> a research article is something that will take another kind of effort where you have to produce a uh, little bit of novelty and you there has to be a purpose of purpose for why you are doing what you are doing right and this these two things will constitute the phase one of the ltm which will go on for 3 months and of course we'll be helping you on various aspects like identifying the problem statement teaching the best practices in in how you review the literature we have lot of sample paper drafts that we have worked on in the past we'll basically take you step by step uh, the number of steps that i have shown here is far less than the actual number of steps that we have planned for the uh, review paper and research article phase and this is something that we have very successfully done last year with many many students and uh, something that we plan to do this year as well uh, ultimately you can aim to publish it in top tier uh, peer reviewed journals or uh, you can also submit to archive which is a which is probably the most well known um, it's a non peer reviewed open access publishing platform maintained by cornell university we will also s- provide you a research profile assessment tool not to help you assess your profile it's more to help us assess your profile uh, in this research this is basically a set of very carefully selected questions um, for helping us evaluate what you have done in the past how good how good your profile is and what needs to be done further and uh, this will get this will help us get an overall idea about yourself Uh, so this is more a tool which is primarily meant for us but uh, we will be using that and the same work which is submitted to papers we can also submit to conferences uh, and in fact if it's a poster presentation or oral presentation where you are not submitting to the conference proceedings you can basically present at any number of uh, avenues uh, the same work basically so the same work you could present as a poster in one conference and as a uh, oral presentation in another conference and we highly recommend you to you to do both of both conferences and papers and uh, at the end of it what will happen is you will have on your profile or on your resume tangible research outcome which are in the form of papers which are submitted papers which are under review or published publication is a very long process uh, so we realistically won't expect publication to happen Uh, in a span of few months because it will be it will not be a fair expectation but uh, we will expect you to be able to submit papers into uh, conferences or papers conferences do happen 
year round so you can definitely with just an abstract you can submit to conferences and uh, then they will let you know the results whether you are invited to the conference or not and uh, meanwhile you can continue working on your project and uh, by the time you are actually going for the conference you will have sufficient enough results to show so conferences is something you should definitely be able to do in the next uh, few months and finally if we know students who are in the similar domain of work as you um, not just in terms of research but also in terms of what they are doing like if, if somebody whom you aspire to uh, become if we already know a student who is doing that we will try to connect connect you with them but this is of course dependent on the availability of the student as well the phase two of the LTM has several uh, sections uh, which we, ha we have individually listed down here first one is university shortlisting price that I am rupees uh, 12k here basically what we are doing is helping you uh, provide details with universities of course it's field specific in some cases the detail is not as much available compared to some of the popular programs like uh, MS or data science, MS in data science or AI uh, stuff like that but there are other programs which are which are more niche so the amount of details will of course depend on the, the specific field but we do have a large data set about a lot of universities and a lot of programs which we will be sharing with you uh, the way we started working on university shortlisting while we were applying for different programs were through creating three buckets uh, easy medium and dream universities now what is easy for you what is easy for me will be completely different um, so this university excel shortlist sheet will be something that we'll be together working on as part of the program and finally the goal is to shortlist maybe 10 15 universities from a big bigger list of 30 to 40 universities we will also share you some uh, very good email templates which is personalized for you um, which you can use for contacting professors in fact this was a very surprising uh, thing which we experienced last year last year meaning 2023 um, <coughs> where uh, so I had applied for the dad um, fellowship in Germany and during that time I remember <coughs> contacting 150 200 professors with very low response rate uh, I think I got 15 ish responses responses I, I don't I don't mean to say positive responses just any kind of responses and then out of those 15 maybe three or four or something like that was positive but this year and that time the kind of email template that we used uh, that I used was not so good like I, I I I know the I know what I wrote back then it was not very good but then this year we really took a lot of effort with our own experience from the last five to seven years of being in this field to craft the very best version of professor emails and incredibly successful like it was incredibly successful for many students one of the students whom I was whom we were uh, mentoring uh, he sent 40 emails to professors in Germany for the dad internship and he got almost uh, 18 to 20 responses which is unbelievable like 50% response rate for cold emailing is unheard of but it was the power of the, the structure of the email and of course if there are students studying in the universities where you envision to be we will connect you with them depending on their availability resume preparation is the second stage of the it's the second part of the phase two it's uh, priced at 15k where we'll be initially providing you sample SOPs from top candidates the very best candidates who got into MIT Stanford Purdue Michigan Harvard etc it will also include of course the team Videsh resume samples and uh, once you draft your first version of the resume we will provide you extensive feedback feedback on how exactly to word and structure your, your resume how exactly to uh, uh, prioritize writing stuff on your resume because I have seen many like more often than not you'll be surprised um, students do uh, put their publication sometimes in the second page of the resume which is absolutely not good especially if you're applying, applying for grad school or anything to do with research uh, or even MS um, if you have if you do have something that is closer to a publication or even some even a good project which is intended to be published you should you should always give it very high priority so these there are so many such minute details about the resume preparation which uh, we would want to give you as part of the resume preparation program uh, and uh, we'll be ta tailoring it based on MS or PhD whichever you are applying for uh, if it is MS typically we follow one to two pages two pages is ideal uh, if it's PhD three pages um, then the next part is SOP crafting um, this is something that one of the most it's probably one of the most popular programs that we have done in 2023 
uh, we'll first provide you with samples of uh, SOPs from some amazing candidates who got into these top universities. And uh, we'll also show you what is the general format or the general structure in which you have to tell the story in an SOP. Because SOP is not a, it's not a burden or a headache, right? It's like, it's your opportunity to tell your story. So we, we will give you an idea of what is the format before you can craft your first version and we can start perfecting the, your version into the absolute, pos absolute best possible way. So you should have a vision, which is the, the, uh, your pitch, sorry, the, the, the thread of your story. You should have your strengths, which are the hooks, hooks on which the admission committee or whoever is reviewing your SOP will get hooked to. And you should have uh, extra points, which are like supporting elements. And finally, your pitch, like what makes you a great fit into the program. Um, so this has to come out as part, like when, when you write a two page SOP, this has to come out in those two pages. And we will provide detailed review edits and comments for perfecting your SOP and tailoring it for whether it is for masters or whether it's for PhD or any other program that you're aiming for. So here, uh, just let, just wanted to let you know, this will be one version of the SOP. What, what I mean by that is typically when you are applying for universities, <coughs> um, there will be some, some universities ask for 500 word version. Some universities ask for 1000 word version. Some universities ask for just two pages. So depending on which one you want, we will only select one of those versions and we'll be working on that. Um, same thing goes for uh, resume. Uh, we'll be working on one of the versions, either MS or PhD version of it. Now, if you want to work on more versions of the SOP, meaning 500 word, 1000 word and 1200, we can custom uh, create a plan just for you. But uh, typically we'll be working on one of these three versions, which I mentioned. Uh, LOR crafting is basically something where we are uh, providing you with an idea of how to draft a very strong LOR for your recommender. Your recommender could be your professor, manager, or anybody whom you work with who is in a good position. And typically, in 80% of the cases that we have seen, uh, they will ask you for a well-written or basic draft. But the basic draft it itself should be the well-written draft. So it's 15K for one letter, 25K for two letters, and 30K for three, three letters, three LOS, because the effort is basically linearly increasing the, with the number of letters. Uh, the idea with SOP, LOR, uh, resume crafting is that I, at the end of it, these three documents should be in the absolute perfect shape. There, um, there should not be even one word which is out of place. If we feel like some sentence needs to be changed because it's not fitting the flow in the SOP or LOR, we will change it. If there is one particular bullet point in the resume which we feel like is not necessary instead we have to replace it with something else we will do that so uh, when we did this for many candidates this year like really i wish uh, um, i could show you here like uh, the stark stark contrast between the first version of the sop and the final submitted version of the sop or lor or resume for that matter it's incredibly different like because there are so many dozens of things that uh, every single student overlooks meaning they might miss and uh, we have been able to make changes to make it perfect so that's the philosophy of the LOR SOP and resume crafting and uh, in the LOR yes we will be helping you figure out which professors to take you take the recommendations from because sometimes you are very connected with a professor but that professor may not have a very good credential research credential in other case you may be uh, work you might have worked with a very highly uh, reputed professor but but you you may not have had that much personal connection so it's it's kind of uh, confusing how to really take uh, the right kind of recommender to take the letter from so we'll uh, help you figure that out and of course in crafting i mean in the uh, editing the drafts which you will create based on what we provide you we also have a portfolio website uh, building service it's priced at 5k here of course we won't be building the website for you but we will be providing you some amazing templates which are based on our own work uh, on top of which you can build your website and website is an absolutely important thing which you should everyone should do basically uh, uh, it's it's the only place where you can show visuals in resume sop and lor you are just writing things website is the only place where you can show videos show images or any kind of 
visuals in a comprehensive manner from your work. So you should have a personal portfolio website and we'll be providing uh, any GRE TOEFL IELTS material that we have resources, tips for preparing for these exams in the best possible way uh, for free. So that's the last part of the phase two. Now, as a student, you can select any of these. You can select phase one alone. You can select any of these individual items from phase two alone, uh, whichever you want to take, uh, that is one option. The second option is keeping in, in mind that you may need multiple of these things. So, so that's why we, we have also created bundles. So the first bundle, we have actually four bundles. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Uh, we have these four bundles, all in plan, research profile with basic application, research profile with SOP and application only. There are these four bundles. So I'll walk you through these four bundles, their detail and the pricing. So in the first bundle, which is all in plan, everything is included from phase one and phase two. Uh, if you do a sum total of everything uh, in phase one and phase two, it's uh, rupees 152K, uh, that's the total price. But uh, in the all in bundle, we are uh, giving a significant discount. It's, it'll be priced at 95K. This is for everything in phase one and phase two. The second bundle, is the research profile with basic application so what this means is it will be phase one uh, which is the research profile building and these items from phase two uh, sop resume one lor and review uh, review and help on portfolio website building and this uh, the original total price is 125 uh, k rupees and uh, that's if you do the sum total of all the individual items but we are giving it at 85k rupees. It, it's with a 32% discount because it's a bundle. The third bundle is research profile with SOP um, in which the phase one, which is research profile building and only SOP from phase two is included. Uh, the total price of this originally is 90k. Uh, if you just add the sum total of phase one and the SOP pricing, but we are pricing this is at 75k at a 16% discount. And the final bundle is application only bundle, which is uh, no phase one only things from phase two which means only things related to application the sum total of the pricing of individual items here is 92k but uh, we'll be pricing this at 75k because it's a bundle at an 18 percent discount so these are the four bundles uh, any of these bundle also you can select if you don't want a bundle you can select individually from uh, from phase two you can also select phase one alone depending on your wish now, uh, if you ask us which bundle is more suitable for you, um, from the last year's data, the uh, all-in plan and the application only bundle, these are the two most popular uh, bundles that most of the students took. Uh, SOP, of course, is SOP alone is a very popular course. Uh, it's a very popular you know, part of the LTM. Uh, if you want to primarily work towards, let's say, building your profile and building your application for a summer research internship i would say this is the best possible best uh, bundle for that research profile with basic application because you more like most likely you won't need three lors you will need sop or a kind some kind of research statement you will need resume lor and portfolio website portfolio website is very important for everybody if you are somebody who wants to primarily focus only on research but also on SOP because SOP is probably by far one of the most important documents in application, then this is the right bundle for you. But uh, if you don't want to do anything with research, application only bundle is the right thing for you. If you want everything, of course, all in plan bundle is the right thing for you. Uh, in the last page, there are a few frequently asked questions that we get. I will not be going through all of these in the video. Uh, you can go through this um, when we share the document with you. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you have questions, feel free to email us. Uh, that summarizes the, the structure and pricing of the LTM program.